all right guys so this is going to be a demo session where we'll we'll be installing the car painter and see how the car painter will automatically scale up the worker nodes in our cluster for all the pending pods okay so this is a very important session you need to go step by step to understand and to install the carpenter successfully okay so let's just start right now i can see this is the carpenter official documentation right so first of all what we need to do is you need to make sure that you have all the prerequisites kubectl ekctl helm and aws cli we have already done that so we're not going to install these things now we are installing the carpenter version that is 0 0.26.1 okay 0 0.26.1 this is a latest carpenter version as per their documentation so we need to export these variables all right in our cli all right so once we do that you need to echo these out i have already export the variables here so if i do the carpenter version the cluster name i can see the carpenter version is uh, 0.26.1 then the cluster name is eks hyphen course the region in which it is present is us hyphen east hyphen two this is my ws account id and this is the temporary directory all right now let's go to the next step and the next step is to deploy the cloud formation template all right so what you need to do is you need to use cloud formation to set up the infrastructure needed by your eks cluster so we have already deployed our eks cluster as you know that so what you can do is you can simply skip this step step if you have already done that this is not required as of now but you can see this they are just creating the eks ctl like the cluster here and uh, using eks ctl and they are adding these tags so one important point to notice here is you need to add the tags into your subnets and to your security groups that will be utilized by your worker nodes okay so if i go to my ec2 here uh, if i go to my vpc management console if i just sort the tags here let me go to my subnets all right so if i go to like sort the subnet as based on the vpc so these are all the subnets which are present inside my cluster so you, you can see i have already added this tag here all right so wait yeah this is the one that carpainter.sh slash discovery and then the cluster name similarly you need to add this tag to the security group which is already being added to your worker nodes okay after doing that you can simply go to the next step all right, you need to export the cluster endpoint and then the carpenter IEM role. So guys, please note that this IEM role will be used by your carpenter service account. Okay. And this IEM role will be used by your worker nodes to join your EKS cluster. So let's export the yep you can see that i've already exported that the cluster endpoint is this and this is my eks hyphen course hyphen carpenter so this role will be used by my service account first of all inside the carpenter namespace all right and uh, using this service account we're gonna give some access to my carpenter pod so that they can go and spin up the nodes and add so that and that nodes can join the underlying eks cluster okay so let's just go to the next step you need to create the spot service link role i have already created so if i run this command again i can see that this role has been already exists in this account similarly now becomes the next step you need to deploy the car painter so let me run this command here if so you can see it is deploying the car painter version 0 0.26.1 okay and you can see that it has been successfully deployed now the car painter has been successfully deployed so if i do kubectl get pods in car painter namespace i can see that two my of my carpenter pods are successfully running as of now all right so now comes the next step the next step is to install the provisioner here okay so provisioner is, is responsible for you know launching your worker nodes based upon the pod attributes such as how much resource your pod needs what instance type you know 
you need to launch inside your cluster so everything all the attributes will be taken into consideration by your provisioner okay you can create the default provisioner with the subnet and the security group selector to discover the resources used to launch the nodes okay so we have already applied the tag carpenter.sh and slash discovery okay so using this tag carpenter will discover my nodes uh, subnets and the security groups all right so let's just copy this and paste it here and you can see it has configured and this is unchanged so this has already been done now if i go to the next step the next step finally we will be deploying a sample yaml file all right so what we need to do is we need to copy this and just run this okay so now guys we are going to deploy this application here this deployment name inflate okay and then we're gonna scale the deployment to five replicas then we're gonna check the logs of my carpenter to see whether it will add the new nodes worker nodes in my cluster or not it's so first of all if i do qctl uh, get nodes here i can see that three nodes are already running inside my cluster and i have already deployed this so what i'm gonna do is let me just scale the deployment okay that is the name as inflate so if i do kubectl get deployments just a sec kubectl get deployments so you can see right now inflate is running with only one pod so if we do kubectl get pods i can see one inflate pod is successfully running so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale this deployment to 10 replicas instead of five so let me see let's scale it to 10 and see whether carpenter will add a new node to accommodate the pods or not now let's do kubectl get pods again and i can see right now all the new pods are pending status are in pending status right now correct so you can see all the pods are in pending status the next step you need to do is to check the controller logs to see what is happening so this is the command carpenter controller okay running in the carpenter namespace so we can see debug 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 let's try to check the new logs here let's just wait so it will take few minutes all right so these are some uh, you know transient errors so you can safely ignore these kind of errors because that's an like that's a known issue with carpenter you know these kind of errors will come like um, mutating web configuration not found this not found so you can simply ignore these errors so this is like an open you know carpenter known issue in the carpenter github official documentation you can see that if i go back so yeah these are this is the open feature like the issue reported on the carpenter official documentation official github okay so you can see the webhook errors and clean installs so these are safely right now this is an open state so you can simply ignore these errors as of now but our main now our main thing is to check whether the node will come up or not if i do kubectl get nodes again so i can see that a new node has come up successfully 89 seconds ago all right and if i do kubectl let me show you the nodes again and you can see this is no this node has just come up and if i do kubectl get pods now i can able to see all the pods are now in running state all right so that's how the carpenter works it will see the pods which are in pending state and in response to those pods it will simply go and launch the worker nodes so yeah i hope guys that makes sense and yeah so just i just wanted to try this out in your lab and see how it works and if you have any other further questions just feel free to let me know in the comment section so yeah that's it guys that's how carpenter works and before i go and stop this video here our eks cluster go to iam go to roles here 
paste it and you can see the permission which is attached to this particular role let's explore this policy here so these are the permissions all right so car we are giving the car painter permission to launch the nodes right you can launch carpenter can launch the instances carpenter can terminate the instances describe the instances so all these permissions will be needed by my carpenter to go and launch the nodes inside my cluster 